Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Mr. Heavily Motivated. And the word for the day is clothing. Clothing. Everybody wears clothes. Clothes was like back in biblical times with Adam and Eve. They put clothes on to cover up their sin when God was going through the garden trying to find them. Clothes are important because it protects you from the element. It protects you from the cold. It protects you from the sun. But clothes also are important because it gives you identity. It lets somebody know your nationality and let somebody know where you're from. We can sometimes judge people's religion by their clothes because some people uh, cover their face. They may have their eyes showing. Some people may dress in traditional Indian garb or African garb. Clothing is very essential for life like me. You could tell that I'm a blue collar worker because I'm in a uniform. My clothing expresses what I do. If you see someone in scrubs, you can assume that they're a nurse or something, a dentist or something like that. Um, lawyers dress a certain way. Hustlers dress a certain way. Clothing is very important in society. And someone once told me to actually look like, you have to look like someone that other people wants to follow. And I challenge that because I don't want to be out here front and I don't want to be putting on a persona that I'm not. So I really post my clothes and I, I make my post in whatever clothes I have on. But you should look like a leader. We, should, we could look at someone and tell that they're playing basketball because of their clothes. Or we could look at someone and tell that that they are going to the gym or they may be athletic because of their active wear they're wearing. Clothing is essential. So this is the message and the motivation today is just think about the clothes you wear and what image is it putting out there. Think about the clothes your children wear. What are they promoting? What image is it putting out there? Because you turn into a walking billboard and you could be promoting hate, you could be promoting destruction, or you could be uplifting somebody or something. But all of our clothing, no matter where you buy it from, it actually sets the first impression. You only get one chance to set a first impression and most people are gonna look at what you have on and judge you accordingly. I have like an issue I what I can talk about on the corners. You see these brothers standing around with with their pants like all the way below their butt. Not even on the corners. I see it in the store. I see it everywhere now. Their pants are like all the way below their butt. You be in the mall. And I'm like, wow. And it may be three of them. And I'm wondering, is this brother gay? Does he know he gay? Or does he think I'm gay? Does he want me to see his butt crack or... I just don't get it. The clothing represents something. And it's clothing represents the era that you grew up in, the era like the time. Sometimes clothing can represent the region you grew up in. You can look at the way someone dressed and say, okay, you may be from this area because a lot of people from that area wears those, wears that style. So be cognitive of clothing. And I'd like you to know that <laughs> back during slavery times, you know, it was hard to get clothing. People might never had a hat. They might have had two shirts, if that, if they had any shirt, and it was made of a part of the cotton that itched. And, you know, they may not have had shoes. Socks was unheard of. So the things we take for granted today was really cherished and wanted back then. You know, people wanted to look nice, but they didn't have the ability to look nice. People wanted to wear suits. People wanted to dress up. Women wanted to wear sundresses, but the ability to wear sundresses wasn't there. So the clothing represents something in society. It represents the, a level of achievement. It represents accomplishment. But I don't know about buying those expensive J's or those Yeezys. My bank account can't really get there with that. But um, y'all be blessed. Y'all stay heavily motivated. The word for the day is clothing. Make sure that your clothing actually represents what you stand for, because if you stand for one thing, but you're dressing another way, it's sort of like a conflict of interest and people are hard to figure you out. Just like when you're at the gas station or at the grocery store on Sunday, you tell that someone has just left church or they're actually going to church by their clothing. You look in the car, everybody might be dressed a similar way. We could assume that they're going to a place of worship. We could assume who a Muslim is by their dress. We could assume that someone may be Jewish by a certain dress that they have or the little thing they have on their head. Clothing is important. And now, as you see, I have my clothes on for work, so I must clock in and get to work. Y'all stay blessed and just stay humble. Sit down and like the sign. Say, don't go that way. It's, yeah, that way. Peace.